you want a routine that's consistent, but also constantly changing. I did this workout uh, yesterday, and today my legs are pretty toast. So I want to give you a few pieces of advice, uh, especially when training legs. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of people either hate legs, they love legs, um, or they just know it's a necessary evil. I particularly love legs. One of my most favorite training days. Um, as of recently, last several months, I've had some hip issues that I'm dealing with, which is really annoying, but. Uh, that's the importance of stretching, mobility, and stability as well. Um, because if you overtrain without having the stability, the mobility, and the flexibility in your joints, uh, you could you could cause some injury. So I'm in the process of trying to change things up and um, not injure myself. Anyways, a couple pieces of advice that I want to give you uh, when it comes to training legs. Uh, number one, you're going to notice in this leg workout that I changed it up. Um, from the last couple and so instead of doing like a big mover first like a deadlift or a squat I started with a lunge much more functional um, it helped me actually in the workout because it allowed me to get more range of motion and flexibility out of my hips now obviously before I started with that uh, workout I had done some mobility stuff which I'll, I'll post some mobility videos and stuff later um, just like warm-up stuff nothing super in-depth um, I've got a couple mobility guys that I know uh, if you need referrals for. But I can just show you kind of like my routine, my warm up, what I do um, to help with that. But the first and foremost thing you have to know is changing up your routine on a consistent basis is important. And this is what I mean by that, especially with legs. Um, you can get such in the habit of doing the same plane of motion, the same. Like let's just say we did squats, right? I love squatting, so let's just say I did squats for six months straight. That was the first thing I did. It's always what I did first. And like your body just gets so used to that single plane of motion that other things become weak. So right now, a weak point for me is my hamstrings. Uh, I don't. I off and on I do enough hamstrings, but in general, um, I don't train hamstrings hard enough. And so it's a weaker point for me right now, something I'm trying to fix and improve. But you've got to change up your routine, I'd say every, every eight to 12 weeks at least. Um, and, and you know, a lot of people are like, well, I do a different workout every single time I go in. That's fine too, but ultimately, training the same uh, exercises also helps build strength in those certain movements. So if you're trying to increase your squat, if you're trying to increase your deadlift, Obviously, practice, um, well, it never makes perfect, but it makes improvement. So the first thing is change up your routine consistently, um, especially with legs, because legs are a big muscle. They're the biggest muscle in your body. So when you think about training them, it takes a lot of energy output uh, to see the growth or the change or the improvement that you're looking for. The second training tip uh, that I have for you with legs is make sure you get a good warm-up in. You know, sometimes it's easy to kind of skip out on a warm-up uh, when you're doing like chest press or, you know, some rows or maybe arm day, right? You don't necessarily have to get a good warm-up in, but if you're not warming up well, especially for legs, you're only setting yourself up for, uh, for an injury. Um, so take some time, whether that's, you know, doing the stair climber, 
doing a short jog or more what I do is mobility stability uh, work on like the foam roller uh, very light stretching and then uh, mobility movements with my joints which again like I said I'll, I'll post some videos and show you what I mean uh, shortly but you really have to take the time to warm up your, your body is not ready uh, especially if you're pushing your body and I don't want to put a weight on the on the squat, right? I don't want to say it. when you're when you're squatting 300 pounds. I don't want to say that because ultimately a workout is about you and where you're at. So you know what's hard for you is not going to be hard for someone else, and what's hard for someone else may not be hard for you. So when you're going to put your body under a maximum load, and when I say maximum load, what I mean is four to six, ten reps, somewhere in that range. Like if you're really pushing your body. To where you're getting to the uh, point to where it, muscle ex muscle exhaustion basically <clears throat> excuse me when you're pushing yourself to the point of muscle exhaustion you have to have a good warm-up in because your body is not physically mentally ava available I say available um, you're mentally not available but your your body is physically not ready for that it's just not ready and whether you're like, well, you know, I'm young and it's cool, I don't need to warm up. Like, trust me, when I tell you, you need to warm up. You need to spend that time, get your heart rate up, get your joints ready, get your joints loose, uh, and just get your body ready for that, for that war, essentially. Um, like, you would, never, you would never go do like an Ironman or some type of big race and not prepare for it, right? So you gotta prepare for the workout by warming up. So number one is change up your routine, uh, consistent, but be consistent. The second one is warm up. Spend a good amount of time warming up. And then the third thing for leg day, honestly, is just focus on your recovery. You know, you've got to stretch in the days following. Uh, typically the day right after my leg day, so like it's Monday morning right now, uh, I do a lot of stretching. I do a lot of mobility work, a lot of core stability, um, sometimes throw in some abs or low back work as well because I need to recover from the workout. If you don't recover properly, you're not going to get growth, you're not going to burn fat, you're not going to feel good, your joints are going to ache and hurt, your muscles are going to ache and hurt, so you need to recover. And I'm not saying don't exercise, I'm not saying don't work out, I'm just saying take the time to do the things that help you recover, like stretch, mobility, stability, core st stabilization, um, low back strength. Things that are going to improve your body's overall recovery. Go for a walk, do a light jog, whatever it is that you like to do in correlation to recovery. All right, so number one, change up the routine, be consistent, uh, number two, make sure you warm up. And number three, make sure you recover. Those are the three major things you got to do. You should do them with every workout, really, but really with leg day. Because if, if you're pushing your legs and you're pushing your body to the level at which you should to see that improvement, and you're not doing those three things, you're either going to end up injured or you're going to end up not seeing results. And neither one of those are fun. So give it a try. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think.